Welcome back to Talent Talk Podcast. Uh, this is episode five. Uh, we took a little break. You know what I'm saying? Billy had a lot going on. School full time, work full time. We do a lot. Um, but shit is ridiculous. Yeah, but you know, we just we had to take a look at this Grammy list and then we were like, Yeah, we, we gotta stop everything and come onto the podcast. So we're gonna be talking about the Grammys today. We're gonna be talking about um new music that dropped and plans for the future, stuff like that. Yeah. Fucking the Grammys, though. Oh, my God. We just no. jumping right into it? Jump right into it, bro. <laughs> there's a lot a lot of things that need to be said about this. A lot of things that need to be said about this. All right. Let's uh, let's start with... Um, I'm going to just read it. I'm going to just read it. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So, record of the year, right? Record of the year. We got Black Parade. I'm Beyonce. Colors. Black Pumas. Rockstar. Yeah, definitely has to be rock star. Say so. Everything I wanted. Don't start now. Little bucket <laughs> circles and savage. Right. I mean, honestly, I'm not mad at that category. I'm. I'm not mad at those. I categories. just think. I think that Blinding, Blinding Lights, Lights should definitely deserve to be in there. Yeah. The we, weekend we got we robbed. Have. The weekend got robbed. But that's a whole other topic. Like he has his own thing. Record of the year. Bro, you tell me that record of the year lights. Should, record of the year should be savage, bro. All right, but if we're going by this list, if we're going by the, if we're going by the list, I said Rockstar, but I think Rockstar like when it when it came out with the Black Lives Matter remix, that was good, that was better. But I mean, Savage, Savage took over the internet. Either I'm, I'm gonna say either either Savage or Rockstar, but who knows? Say so took over the internet too, though. Billy Eilish's but, song might just but Doja Cat. You know what I'm saying? Doja Cat. We, we don't we don't dance with her. Yeah, she's canceled. I mean, not canceled. Mm. We don't, we, you know. But. Canceled. <laughs> all right, so album of the year. I'm not I'm not mad that Janae's finally getting some recognition for her work because her, her sound is, you know what I'm saying, is unmatched. I don't think really anyone really sounds like her. Um, She sounds like herself in all her songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's, she sounds very, um, like, repetitive. But. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at it either. Yeah. But I'm, like I'm glad she got the recognition. But there's like there's bro. I don't know. Oh, Hollywood Bleeding got got nom- nominated, so I'm not mad at that either. Bro, but Hollywood Bleeding came out last year. So why did it get nominated for this year's Grammys? Uh maybe it got what's it called? Bro, it came out in twenty nineteen. But maybe it got put like in recognition. Did it did it get recognized last year too? Yes. I, I it should I think it should, I think it might have gotten nominated last year too. Bro, Hollywood Bleeding, its first month, it came out September twenty nineteen. Its first month, it did better than like any other album that came out that year. Hollywood Bleeding Audio came out September 9, twenty nineteen. So Yes, it came out September. Album. I remember when it came out because I was like, This is good this is the post Malone album I'm gonna listen to. And you never did. And I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, wow, yeah, it great. came out September 6, twenty nineteen. Yes, and it's in it's it's here for album of the year for twenty twenty one. Um, let's see. Hollywood Bleeding did it get um Grammy nomination. For twenty twenty? Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. So it didn't. So it didn't. I so so it just got nominated for for twenty twenty one. Yeah, just twenty twenty one. All right, I guess. But still, but like song of the year. So, whoa. Circles got nominated in twenty nineteen. And this year, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, wait, the name of the album is Circles. No, the name of the album is Hollywood's Bleeding. All right, all right, okay, my bad. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Taylor Swift, you know she's always gonna be in there. Yeah, Dua Lipa. I don't listen to her, so I can't really speak on that. But I, I think the the impact of music should be album of the year, and I don't know. I song, of like, year, song of the year, song of the year, like the Uh-oh. weekend. The weekend should be there because he but has had, a blinding lights, a blinding um, lights. Yeah, and his multiple performances and Spotify records broken, bro. Just, um, just the numbers that he did this year were were it was incredible. It was incredible. The box is taking song of the year though. I'm calling it song of the year. <sighs> Either the box. If or the world was ending, if the world was ending with Julia Michaels, um, that song has like touched people's hearts, and it's like 
it's worldwide more than like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a beautiful song. You probably never heard it because you don't listen to the radio. But I do not listen to the radio, so yeah. My mom, it. my mom sings that stuff around the house all the time. Um, best new artist. Best new artist. All right, so here's the thing. I don't know if Megan got nominated last year for best new artist, but she dropped last year. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I think it's going to be Megan. I think it's going to be Megan. Yes, but I think I think Chica and Doja Cat could you know give her a run for the money. Well, Chica because she's good. Like she's just a great artist. Yeah. Uh, if Doja I, if Cat I'm just because. Doja Cat is just because she's OD mainstream and she came out and say so. Mm, I wouldn't say she's mainstream. Like like super mainstream. Her song blew say, up on TikTok. Say so blew up, but she's an underrated artist as far as like her craft because of the like stupid shit she does. But she's like super super talented, at least to me. Like despite everything, like you put whatever uh, allegations or anything aside for her. No, I know. I've 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 listened to a couple of Doja Cha- Doja, 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 Doja Cat, Cat songs. Talented, and, so and her videos are are insane too. So yeah. like, um, so I think I, I think I think D Smoke like him being best new artist is good for the show. It's good for the show rhythm and flow, which is where he came from. Um, it's good, great for him, but just having that kind of recognition coming from that show. It's good for Netflix. It's, you know, oh, um, yeah, it's good. And it's good. It's something to put on his name. So, like, we, you know, we'll, we'll get to that later. But having Grammy nominated next to your name is important sometimes. Yeah. Some people may not feel that way, but... Yeah, being Grammy nominated is 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 great. Like, the, I think so. It's great. But, like... But, like, I, I, like, I said, like, like I was saying before, bro, I don't... I don't as an artist, like... I would have placed my value on things like this because. Oh yeah, we were talking off camera. I mean, but like Drake came out with that little you know page where it was just like uh, artists have have reached for Grammys like that. That's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, he also said that we need to um, create our own thing. Create our own thing. And, yeah. You know they, they will live on and. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I completely agree because the Grammys is just. It's been around for for half, a, what is this, the 60s, half a century. This is, this is the 63rd Grammys? Yeah, over half a century. You feel me? Like, like this is just... At this point, there's people that, that have never half gotten recognition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, J-, J. Cole is a perfect example of, of somebody that never got the recognition he deserved. But it, but it came to the Grammys. He has a Grammy now, though, right? He has a Grammy off of um, 21 Savage song. Oh, he has a Grammy yes. off of a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you have people like Doja Cat and like not not trying to take away from from, well, well, from he was nominated he just never won right he I don't nominated. even think he was nominated bro I definitely definitely think he was nominated but you know it, I could be wrong um, best but, pop solo performance let's see um, yummy I'm I'm gonna go with say so say yeah definitely I'm gonna I was, definitely I mean, say so yummy say so everything I wanted Billie Eilish uh, don't start now Dua Lipa Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles that might win because people go crazy and then Cardigan by Taylor Swift which also might win but like as far as Say So goes, Say So like I I truly like that song I, I hated it on me and I still do and will always um, the Summer Walker you know remix oh my God. was, was yeah, cool it was, the, it was cool for me you said you wanted more from her but I cool definitely wanted more from her it was it was not enough from Summer on that song. but that's that's in the past best pop duo group performance that's gonna bro <laughs> BTS is on this yeah it's BTS uh, no, yeah, I haven't even BTS. gotta read the rest yeah. of this I'll read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be BTS I'll read it for the rest the of the The BTS fans, they're gonna they're gonna make sure they win that, yo. Nah, it's it's clip for that. No, mm, I don't know. Uh, mm, Undia, J Balvin, Dua Lipa, Bad oh, Bunny. Oh, Bad Bunny, yeah. Uh yeah, that could that could win, but I, I nah, it's BTS. Yeah. It's either BTS or Taylor Swift. Like yeah. you just kinda know by reading it who's gonna win because of every year. Like the Grammy shouldn't be predictable. You know what I'm saying? It it's, shouldn't, but it's like just, basketball it's the same, the same for, for the past couple of years has been like, oh, Golden State was gonna win the you know the fucking championship because they're the you know dominating team i feel like in grammys you know once taylor swift is mentioned in a category she's gonna win taylor swift or billy eilish billy eilish won mad grammys last year bro you're right 
I keep I'm not, I mean to be honest I'm sleeping like maybe Billy Eilish I'm, but, that's, but that's, before. That's, that's the first thing that ever happened like that's the first time that ever happened cause she's like what 18 bro she's like 18 yeah it's like the first time that uh, that has ever happened so I'm maybe saying, it could happen again yeah I'm saying but maybe that's maybe there's a shift yeah you know probably, maybe, it, it maybe, maybe Taylor Swift won't win every single maybe we'll, we'll see what happens I, I think Billy Eilish is definitely up there because of what happened last year I'm not even gonna watch I'll, I'll just look at the winners um, I don't even think there's gonna be traditional vocal, uh, pop. Called. I don't know none of these people. <laughs> traditional pop vocal album. Harry Connick, James <sighs> Taylor, Rufus yeah. Wainwright. I don't know none of these people. Yeah, we mm. we can just skip that. Um, best pop vocal album. Changes. Chromatica. So you know how we had the podcast and you were like talking about Justin Bieber, and you were like, "Yo, that album's so good." I had to revisit it. And it sounds super mature. It sounds oh yeah, bro. That that album is is great. Like I've listened yeah. to that album fully like multiple times. Like trust well, me, you know you're a believer. We get oh, it. De- definitely, hundred yeah. percent. And I pride myself with that. That's, that's really my guy. You feel me? Like yeah. So I think changes by Justin Bieber should win best pop vocal album. But no, 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 bro. Look, 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 look who's on this list. Look, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift Harry Styles, Styles, and Lady Gaga. And Lady Gaga. You feel me? Like I wouldn't be surprised if Lady Gaga um, won. I, I, I don't believe she came out with an album, um, like in the past couple years. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything from her since maybe. And as far as like, like dance, electronic, I can't. I can't. I can't sing. see this. Um, K. Trinata, the t- song Ten Percent with Kali Uchis. Oh, so that's a song that's Sit. probably that's yeah. probably doing good. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. that's why he's on Best New Artist. That makes sense. Yeah, which is All crazy. Right, so just go. Okay, um, we'll go to uh, R and B. Um, Bubble was also released in 2019, so I don't know why it's in the 20 was 2021 Grammys. That's what, bro. That's exactly what I was saying with Hollywood Bleeding. But there is a, there is a instrumental version of that album that I saw that was released this year. So, Bubba, yeah, yeah. So it says best dance for vocal or instrumental albums. All right, oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, contemporary instrumental music. Yeah, I don't know any of this. We could just get to the rap or R&B. Wait, why not? You know, rock. Oh, that's what it is. Phoebe Bridges is a rock star. Oh, so, yeah, that's why I don't know anything about her. Uh, Best new metal performance. Mm, best rock song. All right, cool. Yeah, no. We don't know these categories. We're just going to We're just going to go right, right. R&B. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right here, boom. Uh, R&B, we got Lightning and Thunder. Well, best R&B performance. Uh, Lightning and Thunder, Black Parade, All I Need, Go Ahead and See Me. Black Parade. Lightning. Black Light- Parade is taking that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but Lightning and Thunder is off of Chalumbo, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've actually like sat down and heard that song from start to finish. Um, I've heard the one on John Legend's album. Yeah, I think Beyonce should win this. She should. She, that should take it, bro. That should take it. Uh, do you know the song? Yeah, okay. I seen the video. And yeah, it's it's empowering. Yeah, bro, uh, it's it's amazing. So that should take it. That uh, that should take it. Black Parade is from the Disney movie. Right? The yeah, Disney, it's from uh, um so, uh, soundtrack. What's what's it called again? We were talking with Caesar about that when we went to his that's, house. That's when I saw it. Uh-huh. That's when we saw. It, yeah, mm-hmm. he was like, "Gotta listen to this song. It's crazy." Um. Um. Best traditional R and B performance. Uh, I I'll, I'll probably go with Chloe. Chloe and Haley. Yeah, have you heard that song? Yeah, I've I've heard heard their whole album. Did you listen to for new vocal or instrumental traditional R and B chords? Okay, I'm did you listen to any anybody else? No, but Yeba is an amazing singer, so I it could go to Yeba. I don't know anybody else here. Yeah. Um. Um. As far as here, this is gonna go crazy, right? Best R and B song. Right, this is, I'm, I'm skipping the whole R&B performance. Yeah. Do it with Chloe, Chloe Haley. Slow down. Um, skip Marley and her. Uh, who's better Black than Parade. I imagine? Like I don't know. I mean, I don't think Black Parade is the best R&B song either. Like if you go into your list right now of R&B songs that you listen to this year, like. 
there's so many songs that that like are not there. Why is Summer Walker not here at all? <sighs> that's that's bro. Over I, it, over it has been played so much. I mean, you see it all the time on Twitter. People are like, "Yeah, this album lives in my head rent free." Rent free, bro. Mm-hmm. Every bro, when that every album day. first came out, I played that album from start to finish every single day, bro. Like, I just I don't understand like why it wasn't even a thought. Like, like why that that shit was every track on that album is a banger so like it just it makes no makes no sense to me mm-hmm. <laughs> they're really bugging out with that um one. who else chris brown came out with a couple songs no i mean um, was that last year that was last year yeah that was last <laughs> he year. dropped in to go last year i'm sorry you know quarantine the year went like this like honestly like i don't even remember um like we're oh, bro it's december what it's december 2nd like yeah i know um, the weekend should count for this category. Well, why they placed him in rap? You know, why would it? <laughs> that that makes no sense. Why is he, bro? He's not a rapper. Like, why is he in the rap well, well, category? Chill, chill. His fans might his fans <laughs> might think he's a rapper, bro. No, I'm not. I, he's definitely R&B. But like, bro, like, like I know for a fact that Blinding Light should be in this category. Hundred percent should be in this category, and it's not. It should be in best song of the year, and it's not in. What's the name of the song? And it's just. What's your favorite song off of? Um, off of After Hours. Yeah, stay your After Hours. Um. Don't know why. What song are you thinking of? I don't remember the name of the song. Heartless. Something you do. No, but um, point is like that's not even the song that could it could be R and B. Like he has plenty of songs on that album that are. No. More than popular enough to be in that category exactly. that are more R and B. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like after hours. After it could, hours. It could be after hours. Uh, too late. Oh yeah, too late. Isn't there a Doja Cat remix with one of his songs? Like, there might be. Yeah. So it's just it's just crazy. But I just, we didn't. Oh, I think I think in your eyes has a Doja Cat remix. I'm pretty sure. In your eyes. Okay. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't understand, bro. There it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, best R&B song. I guess you could do uh, Do It by Chloe and Haley. You know the song, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you could go Black Parade because it's Beyonce, but I think Do, do It probably. would deserve it. Mm-hmm. Um, Slow Down wasn't bad. Skip Marley and Her. Yeah, I'd say it's between Do It. John Black Parade. Um, best progressive R and B album. I'm not even gonna read that category. Progressive R and B album. Like, what's the difference between progressive and traditional? For noise? albums containing at least 51 percent playing time of newly recorded progressive vocal tracks of derivative R and B. Derivative of R and B. Derivative of R and B. I don't. Know, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck that means. Well, ju- just for shits and giggles, I uh, I picked that's... Ungodly Hour because that album sounded amazing. Um, <laughs> okay, best oh, R&B album. Here we go. We got Happy to Be Here by Ed, Ed Clemens. It's a good, it's a good artist. Uh, we got Take Time by Giveon. Giveon. <laughs> Giveon. We got Loved by Luke James. Bigger Love by John Legend. Luke James is a country artist, and he probably will win this. But go ahead. Bigger Love by John Legend. Which All Rise it with... Uh, by Gregory Porter. I think Bigger Love by John Legend is going to get snubbed no matter what. Like, oh, yeah, 100%. That, people listen to it. That was good. Um, that was really good. Giveon has taken the social media by storm. Oh, my God. Uh, if, with if the Chicago Freestyle. Chicago Freestyle. Hey, bro, I mean, his album in general is just, yeah. it's from start to finish, it, it, like, like. It's great. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. His voice is just phenomenal mm-hmm. and and to to be able to do like, like like there's like songs little pieces of songs even the 20 second like take time 55 second take time interlude like it stuck it's in just, my head like that i had to sing it yesterday like it's just it's so good i i listened to that the album start to finish even mm-hmm. like he he, re- he released that um the that old christmas tree oh yeah that that shit was fire oh my god i love it I, yeah. bro, I could i could shed a tear when i listen to that song bro i could shed a tear bro. of course you can i could shed a tear it's so um good. But I'm failing to see any women in this category. I mean, yeah, that this, so this is exactly sp- where Summer Walker got robbed, bro. We we spoke about this though. Um, Janae Eiko doesn't have to be 
in best R&B album because she's an album of the year. Mm-hmm. So I guess it'd be unfair. If, uh, not, I don't know. You give more people a chance if you don't put her in there. But she's not guaranteed to win album of the year. She's not guaranteed to win album so of the year. So I don't but know why she wouldn't be there. And she's definitely R&B. 100% she's R&B. The Weeknd <clears throat> is also R&B and it definitely deserves be to be classified in here. He's not a woman, but he's not here. I don't even think he got... Did he get nominated for rap, bro? Are you sure? I didn't see him in rap at all. No, I don't think he got that one in for rap. Like, I think that was the So he got was, robbed. He got robbed altogether. Yeah, I think that was the issue. Bro. Not not a single not a single not fucking a single nomination, nomination, bro. Not a single nomination. There you go. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Um I can't I can't it makes no sense to me. And this is exactly why I stopped watching wait, the didn't Grammys. It, didn't it come out in twenty nineteen? Bro, it came out this year. It came out March this year. Oh, you're right. It did come out in March. Heartless came, came out. Heartless came out in February. No, right, no, right it came out in March. Quarantine. So like March first. Like it came or out during like, like mid to late March. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're missing Summer Walker here. We're missing Janae Aiko. We're missing The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. Um. Am I missing anybody? Who'd you listen to? Kalani. Oh yeah, Kalani. Kalani's not on there either. Whoa. I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized that. Kalani didn't get nominated for anything. Whoa. I mean, I don't know if she submitted um, her stuff, but there's no way. Uh, I guess Bryson Tiller kind of... I mean, not that he would win it, but like... Did Fiaz, did, did Bri- like, what happened? Like, who... Brett Fiaz didn't uh, classify for this category? Bryson Tiller probably, like, you know, didn't um, put in his stuff. Uh, Lucky Day's album, was that in 2019? That was in 2019, but he came out with Deluxe this year. So, Give Me On deserves credit, but Kalani definitely deserves credit. Oh, 100%, yeah. Uh, I don't and, know I don't know if, if Lucky Day is... Not to say that he doesn't deserve the credit. I don't think he's at that point in his career where, like... Okay, fine. Like, Let's, uh, but Scratch out Lucky Day. Kalani. Kal- Kalani, definitely. Uh, I mean, Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller, def- Brent Fias. Bryson Tiller, it, it, even if it's not uh, best R and B album of the year, he should at least got Party next like. Door. Did but like but I don't know if Party Party's album did that well. Party, but, but bro, he still came out with an album. He did. So he did. Party Party Mode but came has, out in twenty twenty. Did but has he ever gotten nominated for a Grammy before? Tiana Taylor, bro. What? Like, there's so many people that I listen to that are not here. That's crazy. That is insane. There's the Grammys. Honestly, it should just be canceled. Like you don't have Kalani, Tiana Taylor, The Weeknd, um, who else? Brent Fiaz. Like the, those people ran like the charts. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I guess, I guess not really the charts. If they're talking about billboards, right? Bro, yeah, it would, would it, even if they did those but types of like, numbers. I feel like it shouldn't be about billboards. Listen, listen, even if they did those type of numbers, it doesn't oh. matter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> my bad. Even if they did those type of numbers, it doesn't matter because everything is picked by the Academy. So it doesn't really matter. They don't know, bro. They probably don't even do the fucking research. They're just like, oh, look at this person. Look at this person. Oh my God, he uh-huh. would take the legit nominate them for this. Because clearly they didn't look at the fucking numbers, bro. Do you realize how good fucking uh, the Over It did and it didn't get nominated oh, for Summer Walker? Yeah, yeah. Like, Boom. All right, so. Perfect example. Yeah, I didn't even. Over I, It I, the I weekend? Come on, bro. I, I didn't even mention Summer Walker. Yo. Come on, bro. Moving on, because I'm, I'm pissing, pissing myself off like, even more. Because I just realized how many people didn't get nominated. It's, um, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Big Sean got nominated for Best Rap Performance with Deep Reverence. Big Sean featuring Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm. Nipsey Hussle is not. Like on the performance, I don't know. Like he's he's not al- like alive to perform that song. Um, the bigger picture is here, so yeah, little baby. Wait, why little baby didn't get album of the year either? Like, we didn't go to rap yet, right? No, we're, this is this is the beginning of rap. Okay, so we got um, deep reverence, bop. What's pop? Is Dior by picture. Pop Smoke. I mean, it's probably gonna win because it's a either that or Savage yeah. or the bigger picture. Nah. It should. It probably gonna be Dior because he he passed away. Either either Dior, I would think, or the bigger picture. The bigger picture might maybe the Grammys trying to save themselves, kind of like giving it to like you know, the Black Lives Matter. They'll probably do a couple of those, like Rockstar. Rockstar, yeah. 
Um, see, like best melodic rap performance. We Rock, Rock Star, Laugh Not Cry Later, Lockdown, The Box, and High Center Room. The Box is taking that for yeah, the sure. Yeah, The Box has for to take sure. The Box should take that. Yeah. But they might give it to Drake so they. <laughs> So that he shuts up. Yeah, probably. Because they don't want to be spoken down on. Bro, I'm not going to hold you. It's definitely going to be the box, though. It could be Rockstar. It, it could be Rockstar, but it's definitely the box. <laughs> but it's definitely the box. Uh, best rap song, The Bigger Picture, The Box, Left Not Cry Later, Rockstar and Savage. It's the same fucking lineup except for Savage. All right. Um, um, uh, oh, wow. Here, he didn't write that song. Who, who, uh, Roddy Rich? Yeah, no, uh, Little Baby. It said, like, it doesn't list him as a credited writer. It listed him as the artist at the end. Oh, yeah. See, like, Roddy Rich, I think his name is Roderick Moore. <laughs> Roderick Moore. Yeah, let's see. Let's look it up. Yeah, it's his, na- his name is Roderick Moore. Anyways, so, yeah, the bigger picture of Little Baby didn't write it, but he performed the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, what's, Jonathan, what's little baby's little, Jonathan what's, wait, wait, what's little baby's real name? Oh, Rayshawn Williams. Yep. No, it's it's Don, Dominique Armani Jones. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah, definitely go with little yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, definitely little baby. Dominique Armani Jones. How did you know? I googled it. What's little baby's real name? I just look. I just googled little baby. Oh. <laughs> And it said Dominique Armani Jones. Yeah. All right. Um, best rap song, we Laugh Now, Cry Later, to me, doesn't really count as a rap song. I, not, I think it's either, it's between The Box, The oh, Bigger the Picture. Bigger Picture. But Savage is there. Savage is also there. So maybe Savage, too. If Yeah. Because Beyonce is on that shit. Yeah, and she bodies it. But this is not yeah. the one. Oh, it is the Beyonce. It's the remix. She said, yeah. Big P and the B stands for bands. What? Come on. That shit was fire. You going to start OnlyFans, Billy? Yeah, my just just my side of OnlyFans. <laughs> um, All right, no, bro. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no, you're right. No, no rap album. I was I was lying. I guess I I. So for best rap album, we have that Black Habits by D Smoke, Alfredo by Freddie Giggs and The Alchemist, a written testimony by J Electronica. So that's another thing, bro. Like. How good did D Smoke's album do to this is what I'm saying. Like you're saying D Smoke is at, at a bigger level than like Lucky Day or Kaylani or like you know what I'm saying? Why why is he have best rap album? Like what What? That's what I was saying. Freddie Gibbs, credit due, he had one of the best like real rap albums that I've heard in a while. I'm not a big fan of him, but I can respect the work. Um J Electronica is you know what I'm saying? He's a goat. He's yeah, a goat. He's yeah, he's he's great. Jail so, Electronica nods in verse five nine. I'm not mad at these nominations. Goats. But my point is, if you're gonna nominate people like D Smoke, Freddie Gibbs, Jail Electronica, they didn't do those type of numbers that The Weeknd, Summer Walker did. Mm-hmm. Then why in other categories that, are you not putting people that didn't do a lot of listen, numbers but all, have amazing albums? My problem with this though is that. Cool, we got Nas, Jayla trying to go to Nas, Nas finally gonna win a Grammy, bro. Like, I don't know. King's Disease is, is an honorable mention as album of the year. I loved it. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't even honor- know he dropped the fucking album. I know, you don't so. listen to Nas. I, maybe not album of the year, but like, it's an honorable mention. And I know, just, you know, and Royce Royce five, nine. Yeah. I just don't. I just listen. I, the, the how I feel about these nominations is that like like Jayla trying to go Nas and Royce five, nine in particular. They've been in the game long enough to get the recognition that they deserve, right? I don't know. You said Nas never won a Grammy. Jay Electronica, yeah. I mean, he's been in the game, but he don't release like that. So yeah, why I wouldn't. I, but like, there's other people that definitely deserve to be in that spot other than them. Like, Little Baby, for example. Yeah, I mean, 100%. His album was like one of the biggest albums of this year. Mm-hmm. Did it come out in 2019? It came out this year. It came out this year, bro. Like, I just, um, what other rap albums came out this year? I, I can't even think, uh, but I know there was other ones that were... I don't know, good. but, all right, so, they got snubbed, all that good. I need to take a real good listen to this album, Black Habits by D-Smoke, and realize why I got best rap album. 
I just I just don't understand. And and little baby didn't. Little baby didn't get rap album. Uh, who else came out with with rap music this year? Uh, I mean, Dark, Darkland Demo Tapes. Darkland Demo Tapes could have easily been on there. I'm not even going to lie. Darkland Demo like, Tapes. <laughs> it had some songs that lived there. Oh, had... DVSN wasn't even on R&B, bro. Yeah, but DVSN. All right, but you can tell me DVSN. You can tell me DVSN is not going to be on there, but Lucky Day is. Here we go. Well, he's not. So uh, I'm just saying, you said you mentioned Lucky Day, but not I think DVSN. Lucky Day's album was better than the DVSN's album. But uh, in my music and your feelings? Yeah. Uh, you're you're on crack. I mean, you're, you're, you're definitely hey, smoking. listen. You're definitely smoking. Lucky Day bro. Was, did really well, and you guys put me on. You wanted me to be a fan now. Oh, I, bro, I love Lucky Day. Don't get me wrong. Trust me, I love Lucky Day. But I mean, Music and Feelings is I, a great I mean, album. Feelings, don't get me wrong. I don't love every wrong. song on that album is a bop, bro. You cannot tell me it's not. Every single song on this every album. Every single song? Every single song on this album is a bop. Bro, I can listen to this album from start to finish. From start to finish. But do you? I, yes, <laughs> I do. Yes, cap. I do. That is not cap, bro. Every single song on this album, I know for 100, 110%, bro. 110%. I will go through it with you right now. Just no, to prove good, it to you. Just to prove it to you. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Um, fine. But if if uh, Musing uh, musing Your Feelings is there, right? Musing Her Feelings is there, then so does... Um, what the fuck is this called? It was... Uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, Kalani's album? Um, it, was, it was good until it wasn't. It, it was good until it wasn't. Was it? Is it, was it was all something. <laughs> uh, it was good until it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got it right. They come, I, I listen. I agreed with you when you said when you mentioned uh, Kalani. Yeah, I, I was right. I was right. When you mentioned Kalani, I did. Agree, I agreed with you like hundred percent. I mean, yeah, but if so, if if DVS is gonna be there, then Party Mobile should be there too. All right. You don't listen to Party Next Door, but there's way more people listen to Party Next Door than they do uh, DVSN. Hmm. That's not debatable. That's not debatable. It's you're not. right. You're right. A lot of people listen. Uh, way more people listen to part next. Are so you 100 percent right? Mm-hmm. You're in that. I got three I people off the top of my head right now. They will probably murder you. Matter of fact, uh, shout out Eva. She's in the point zero zero five percent of Party Next Door's listeners on Spotify. She posted it today, and like that's crazy. Like to be in of the listeners of, of all the people that listen to him. The point zero. Yeah, point zero five. Like, she's a e, she's a stand. Crazy. She's a stand. So is um my guy Issa. <laughs> oh, Issa, really? Um, no, nah, not that one. Whoa, chill. There's only one. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, like I just, I just don't get it. Oh, a boogie dropped this year, but he wasn't getting out. Yeah, nah. I don't, yeah. And was that this year? It wasn't 2020. That was this year. Yeah. Mm, yeah, nah. I'm good. A boogie dropped this year. I forgot about that. That album came and went for me personally. That album came and went. I just I want I'm curious I want to see if if um, Bad Bunny got nominated. Latin for Latin, yeah. Yeah, we didn't oh, go yeah, all the way over there. You crazy? Of course he got nominated. Yeah, we yeah, curious. Yeah. We have to speak about that. People love Bad Bunny. Oh yeah, bro. Bad Bunny. Did you can he get nominated three times? I mean, he did put out three albums. Bro, he did put out three albums this year. I was, no. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, God damn, bro. I was, I also spoke about this with Caesar. Like, he broke the record. I think by point. Something, it, it was like I think Drake had eight point two and he has eight point five million. Mm. Um, so by a couple hundred thousand, he broke the record of most streams. In a day? But no, for the year. Oh, like, for the year. Most streamed artists, but he has three albums out. So is it uh, inflation kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? More songs to listen to. Yeah, because like, Drake Drake's only dropped. There wasn't this year this though. Year. I don't know. I think it was like a record that he previously held. Oh, okay. But still, um. Shout out to Bad Bunny. He's taking over the fucking world. Bro, like, what? He just dropped the album like a couple days ago. Those Crocs. Yeah, bro. Those those Crocs. He he dropped the album talking about retirement. Like, that was like what people were going crazy. Like, it's the last one. But his new direction was was calm. It was, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was a little bit like he's taking a different um a different route to maybe attract more audience. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, that, but you love Bad Bunny. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bad Bunny is amazing. I don't even understand Spanish. And I, I, I could listen to the album start to finish. Um, what was I saying? Oh, he came out with Crocs. Like he, he did the little ca- collaboration oh, with Crocs, yeah. bro. They started selling for like two fifty. The like the and day, they, day. Don't they retail for like thirty bucks? Nah, it was like sixty, sixty something maybe. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that's crazy. Yeah, to me that's just insane. Like that's how you know you have the impact. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hundred um, percent. I was also saying that he doesn't have a lot of competition, or or not, maybe not competition. It's not as 
as cluttered in that industry, in the Latin music industry. People are not like, so he doesn't have that many people that are, you know, going to get nominated over him or that are going um, going to really outdo him. J Balvin. Yeah, no, J Balvin. Uh, I mean, people love him. And he just, well. he just, he just won. Yeah, no, and well, and, and Bad Bunny are two like separate. I mean, like they just did. It's like comparing. Um, I mean, and well, Bad Bunny are, are both are both Latin. in the same category. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, bro. Did you listen to Anwell's album? No. Yeah, I'm just. I didn't mean it as like as good. Oh, as good. Yeah. No, I I I agree with you on yeah. as good. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying they're like. No. Genre, like looking at it from like a, like a genres perspective, oh, they're they're in yeah, the same category. For sure, that's what I, that's what I thought you meant. No, <laughs> like when hmm. you said you ha- he has competition, and I'm just naming people that like are like are in the same genre. Yeah, but there's definitely more people in rap than there are in Latin. That oh, will get recognition. Hundred percent. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, like on this list is mostly people that are famous, super famous. Not like D Smoke or Freddie Gibbs. Like, those people are not super, super, like, up there. They have big fan bases. Yeah. If we really want to talk about, like, artists and snubbed and all that other stuff, like, you can say Russ, too. But Russ has been getting snubbed since day one. I mean, bro. yeah. <laughs> since fuck, day fuck one, Russ. bro. I was just talking. All of my, uh, you know who's all a of Russ my homies hate Russ. You know who's a Russ fan? Iman. Iman's a Russ fan? Yeah. Iman's a Russ fan. I found that out the other day. She was blasting? No, nah, we were just, we were talking about it, and she was like, oh, yeah, I went to a Russ concert, and I was like, no way, you like Russ? Was like, he good live? She said he was good live? Yeah, yeah, she, she said that he was really good. Yeah, I've heard that, too. From other but, um, but yeah, man, Russ has been getting stuff since day one. For some reason, it's cool to say fuck Russ and, and not like his music, but at the, at the end of the day, like... Yo, he's getting to a bag, bro. He po- he be posting like for like, motivational, yeah, for motivational purposes only, and it'd be like from TuneCore, one bro. song from TuneCore, a hundred thousand dollars last week. Like he released it last week. It's yeah. crazy, you know it's what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. And bro, he does all that shit by himself, man. Makes his masters, record engineers, writes. That's some like Kanye shit, bro. Like yeah. That's and then insane. I mean, like, but Kanye didn't own his masters and like right yeah, away. Like, he, he didn't. He didn't do it that way. Like Russ is on path to if he keeps blowing up and keeps putting out great music, that the the amount of money that he makes, if he gets to that mainstream status, let's say he becomes like a a Drake level like caliber, mm-hmm. where he get, can get all those endorsements and stuff like that. If he has all that money, he could be like one of the richest people. One of the richest, yeah. Because because he, he did it so that. smart. He owns. But he also, owns everything. J Cole is on his way to be like the next Jay-Z like esque of you know mm-hmm. he just had, he didn't marry somebody with half with another 500 million dollars yeah. you know what I mean but he's still but he's still he's up chilling. there man and his artists are doing well mm-hmm. like bro I just when it comes to like so shit, Dream like, Club album didn't come out in 2020 right it came out in 2020 nah, it came in 2020 yeah you see like I, I can't I think it. I think the I think the I'm bad with time the Deluxe came out this year, though. Yeah, they could have put it back out, but they probably already got a Grammy for it last year or something like that. Or, like, a Grammy nominated. I don't even think they got nominated. But yeah. But the thing with Masters, bro, is just... It's, it's really crazy how, like, how much they actually are worth. Like, Taylor Swift paid $300 million for her Masters. Yeah. $300 million for all of her music. Like, she's gonna make it right back. I know. That's the crazy I know. That's part. the crazy part. Like, like I know for a fact. Like, like all the proceeds she's are going straight to her. No, no, wait. Did she? She pay for it? She paid for. Oh, bro, okay. Three hundred million dollars. She's, she's re-recording all her. Music. Oh yeah, I know. Bro, that's fucking bananas, bro. For your own music, three hundred million dollars. Um. Yeah. Uh. This is mine. I would like it. Oh. Okay. Three hundred million dollars, bro. Like I put my time but, and effort, but my it's, voice, but, but it's mine. But um, the, so I was who was I talking of, I, I forgot who I was talking to this about or whatever I guess the way to see it is like yeah it's your music you maybe you wrote the lyrics whatever right but your label puts all the background shit into it they play they pay for your studio time they pay for the best engineers they pay for everything so that's behind even it even though you wrote it there's no making it without your label I'm just I'm just that's no that's I'm I'm not saying that that's that's, that's but that is that is what it is that if if you don't know how to market without yourself, a microphone and all the all the things they give you access to because you're signed to them and the money that they put behind to pay for this stuff, you literally cannot make this song and make it sound that way. That's not what I'm saying. 
because I'm just saying that's what they perceive it to be no, like. No, but that is. That's, that's the, what they, that, that, no, it's not because look at Russ. No, no, no. I'm, oh, you're saying that's how they market it. That's how they, exactly. I'm okay. talking about once you're signed. Once like you're that, signed. That's why they own well, their masters. Exactly, because you signed, they, they put the money behind your studio time, the engineers, they put the money behind that's the why marketing, start our, they put it on radios. Yeah, that's why people are doing that. like publishing deals now. Exactly. Like, like, oh, you're just, you're just going to publish my stuff. Exactly. That's that's what um Apple did with when Chance the Rapper fucking. What did they give him, 3 million? They gave him like, I think they gave him like 500K. I don't think it was 3 million. When color when when coloring book was it color I can't even remember it's coloring book right pretty sure he got like three million bro let I'm, me see I think it was five hundred thousand but when that's that's, Robert, that's fine that's good um but when Chance the Rapper dropped coloring book like for it to be exclusively on Apple Music for just two weeks for just two weeks for it to be exclusively on Apple Music for the first two weeks um, that it was out they they gave him five hundred k. Like, that's that's crazy, that's crazy, and it's just yes. They paid him five hundred thousand. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I it was only it was only they paid him five hundred thousand. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I heard something on the Joe Button podcast. Maybe it was somebody else. Maybe they paid like Drake or some shit. That makes more sense. Millions, but um, it was only there for two weeks. That's what I'm saying. For two weeks, he made five hundred thousand dollars just for just having for, it that's for what I'm two, saying. Weeks, two weeks, and it probably. Didn't even cost him five hundred thousand dollars to make his album. So right there, boom, and he's he's he just made profit. Yeah, right, right there, right then and there. Because it, it costs a lot of money to make albums. Like I remember Joey Badass talking about how much um, it it was it cost to make um, All American Badass, and he was like, "Yeah, it was like two hundred fifty k." Yeah, I mean, bro, you two hundred fifty k. So you gotta so, remember, like, beats cost bread. Exactly, and that's so another thing. That, so that's so your labels like, pay, labels put the money behind the beats. Like, people are mad to pay like, maybe a thousand dollars for a beat, or even a hundred dollars for a beat now because they're just starting out. But like, those it's, go, it's those triple, quadruple, like in price when you get to you know a certain level. Like, mm-hmm. so that's boy what wonder is not making you a beat for a kid, one thousand dollars. No, hundred percent not, bro. Hundred percent not, bro. Um, even like Glaze, even Glaze, bro, he's not making you a beat for for a hundred dollars a G. I don't even know. He's, I don't know his prices, but yeah, it's just, it's just that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and and that's why that's why it's cost so much money for these masters because the labels put so much money behind making the song sound good and putting it out there and getting getting your shit out there, which is why it's important to learn. But like, that's why some it's artists might, read. Not, might not want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, and then you have to have good lawyers, and you know this, that, and the third. Like, like when I eventually come out with my music, that's like I want. I'm at, I'm at that level in my in my music career. Mm-hmm. I want to own all my masters. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want a label to own all my shit, and then I get like twenty percent of the music that I'm making. Fuck all that, bro. Like, the fuck. That's od. Like. I just I can't understand like like artists putting themselves in those positions. Like I get it's hard making it when you're doing it all by yourself, but it's more rewarding that way because bro, you you're getting all that bread like because for your shit, like you know what I'm so saying, like putting on music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's what you say. I'm working. Tw- on, I'm working. 2021. On uh, 2021. 2021. Yeah, 20, 2021. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, you know why, Billy? I I need a new song. 2021 January 31st like like by January 31st January. I mean, you know why bro because you have a whole entire month to just focus on even just that one song I know I, and I, you got studio time I do you I also do. have the funds and you have I have, I have the, everything that I that I need to do it yeah I do have everything you I need got to do people it. behind you I got people behind me you know what I'm saying so I've been having fine. trouble with with writing lately it's fine, but Eddie, you, you, Eddie you, told me he you, helped me. So like, yeah, I have, I have like shout out Eddie I, shout out Eddie I, bro, love you, bro. Um, but like, I have n- now that I'm gonna graduate, I'm gonna have all that time. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's pretty much what I've been waiting for. Like, bro, you know how how stressed I've been. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, like, I was just I was just putting some pressure on you. Real quick. No, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like so, I've been in school this whole year. It's just been nonstop for me, bro. You got like, this, like, bro, it's you, just so it's gonna be okay. It's been crazy. That's why I haven't dropped no music this yeah. year. Just shout out to um Antonio. Oh yeah. Oh here. yeah, it bro. In this, lust, bro. Oh man, bro. That song is I, amazing. That song is is really amazing. It's, it's really it's, good. I'm so proud of him because he put out his his first song, um, ever. 
you know, to the masses. He put it out on streaming platforms. It's called In Lust by mm-hmm. Antonio. Shout out to Visionary Records, mm-hmm. my boy AJ. Um, everybody that took part in that. Antonio created that beat and yeah. mixed and mastered, from what I know, his part by himself. So that's another person that could, you know... Yeah, uh, me and, and me and, and Ann, do everything. Me and Anna already talked about like like working together. So yeah, like it's just a matter of me putting hitting him up and putting in the work. You feel me? Like hundred percent. I just haven't. Like I said, I just I just been stressed between work. Oh and no, school. yeah, of course. You know Don't worry about that. Um, anybody else? Uh, AJ dropped mistakes. I don't know if we put our podcast since then. Yeah, um, yeah. So that, look up AJ the Visionary mistakes. Did we talk about? Um, um did we talk about? Uh, Wishful thinking. Mm, I mean, yeah, it's been out for a while now. But yeah, you can look up wishful thinking. Shout out um, to AJ and my boy Justin over here. Wishful thinking, yo. That yo, listen, it's so hard. Like people, vocals. People want me to follow up on that song, and it's like, I don't, I don't know what to do next because that was such a like. They took that song and made it what it was. Or so, like, you know, people want you know love the the hook, mm. and it's like cool. Like it had a life of its own um, with with them. But to me, it was like, I didn't even think about that. I think I have better stuff. So now that they like that, like, I'm thinking about them. And I don't want to do that. So yeah. it's more about, like, I'm, I'm trying to make it come out naturally. You know, I just freestyle. I don't write. So stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and I also haven't had time. You know what I'm saying? Like, been at work, different position, things like that. It's all good. Yeah, but it's life. life. It's life. So let's get to it. We're going to have couple guests on the podcast i gotta speak to them personally to confirm but i know that pat lax dj out of staten island is coming here i already announced that Mm -hmm. um written to a tweet but i'm gonna say it verbally uh i spoke to jordan barone which is the engineer behind the song whoop d by cj um shout out to cj staten island native uh back shout out cj bro Eddie Eddie I is gonna be on the podcast. Eddie, we spoke, Eddie we spoke to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're gonna have some some dope Staten Island people. Um, I know that Debbie Rocks wants to come here and be on the on on the platform. AJ too. Uh, yeah, of course AJ. AJ is gonna be here. Um, so I, I'm I'm really trying to start. You know, me and Billy trying to trying to just bring everybody from Staten and 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 get our feet on the ground running. Uh, shout out boy, my boy Nick Jamin. Oh yeah, Jamie's coming on the podcast. Yeah, Jamie, too. Jamie dropping soon, so I got to speak to him because I'm trying to get him here before um, before he drops. Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Um, uh, my boy Chris Felice, he's a uh, photographer sorry, out, of the, yeah. out of out of New Jersey. Um, we actually did a shoot together that that's gonna come out soon. Um, that was dope. It was my first time working with a different photographer and um, experiencing, you know. Uh, different vibe so he'll you know be on a podcast i'm trying to think yeah that's 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 really it that's pretty um, much for for now you know what i'm saying up yeah. until like 2021 because no that's that's going into 2021 that's what i'm saying yeah. like up until 2021 then that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah i mean yeah well so that's probably all of you know what i'm saying january like all those yeah like all those days that you have available um we're gonna try to um be more consistent yeah we definitely have to be more consistent you know it's hard like the schedules and stuff like that yeah our schedules Um, don't match up sometimes and uh you know i i was busy certain days but i'm I'm busy i think i think we'll be good now uh one more thing yeah if you guys have any recommendations if you guys watch the podcast and you know any like good um presets for microphones or like any any good microphones you recommend or uh cameras you recommend we're definitely looking at the upgrade and stuff like that but i really want to do my research somebody that already does a podcast if you guys already know you want to give some pointers that'd be um be real dope and appreciated yeah because i we definitely want to like upgrade our, our shit like I, I i definitely want to get like a like an interface that way we can have no nah, like, yeah for sure the the mic setup mm-hmm. and everything like i'm trying to i'm trying to make the sound quality better the video quality better so if you guys like have any idea of like what we can do that's like even if it's like expensive it doesn't really matter i don't think yeah. price is a i don't think money is like a, a object yeah money ain't an issue from yeah. the big bowler over here facts you know um, got, oh. that, got that money from summertime flame you feel me yeah um yeah so 
thank you for joining us. Um, I don't know how long we've been rambling on for, but you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah. I don't know either. But um, th- we just wanted to come out with this episode of just two of us today, just so that we can tell you guys like what's been going on lately. You feel me? Yeah, like, and speak about the disgrace that the Grammys oh, are. Yeah. Um, Fuck the, the beautiful talent that Staten Island has to offer, um, and the beautiful table that you know wants to bring this talent mm, up feel me? on the podcast. You're gonna have a lot of people here. All right, all right. Caressing the table. no, yeah. So <laughs> shout out to y'all that do support. I see you. Um, yeah, and new music coming for sure. Like I know I wanted to drop before 2020 ended. Um, I still think that I want to. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I spoke to some people. Um, let's see what's up. Billy's dropping beginning yeah. of 2021. We're holding him to that. Yeah, I'm, right. bro, I'm telling you, January 2021, I'm dropping something. Yeah. Whether it be I be on a feature or like my own shit. Yeah. Something, bro. Something. Dude. I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm I'm, try- I'm 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 there. I'm gonna be there. But like I'm telling you, bro. I'm gone. telling you. I drop. I drop baby. this month. I drop this month, but I got five papers due next week. So we got five papers due like tomorrow. Like tomorrow. Well, let's, wrap, <laughs> let's wrap this up because Billy yeah. has an eight page paper. <laughs> eight pages. Let's get it. All right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Deuces. Deuces.